Hey guys, today I'm sharing with you the best cupcake that you can have and make. These are so easy and they're absolutely delicious. These are my bakery style yellow cupcakes and I'll also be sharing how to make raspberry yellow cupcakes. I am so beyond blessed, absolutely grateful for these recipes. I give all glory to God because this is such an amazing recipe, such an amazing cupcake. We must give it a try. Let's go ahead and get started. In a bowl here, I have three quarter cups of granulated sugar. Now I'll be making this with a wooden spoon and a spatula because I know a lot of people don't have standing mixers and hand mixers and I wanted to show that you can make a perfectly fluffy bakery style cupcake with just a spatula and a wooden spoon or a wooden spoon, either or. So I have three quarter cups of granulated sugar in a bowl and to that I'm gonna add in one stick of halfway softened, halfway melted, unsalted butter. What I did was I just popped that butter in the microwave um, and just got it nice and soft. If it's a little melted, that's okay. If you don't have a microwave, leave it out on your countertop for several hours until it's really, really soft at room temperature. Now here we have two tablespoons of shortening that I've melted. The shortening is gonna give this an amazing texture as well. It's gonna give it just fluffy, super moist texture perfection. All I'm going to do is take my spoon or spatula or whisk or you can definitely use your mixer for this and we're going to mix this for about five minutes. We really want to incorporate the butter, the sugar and the shortening together so it becomes one smooth velvety mixture. So we're going to take about five minutes. It's going to give your arm a little workout if you're using a spoon but you know what? I like to take that workout as in a little couple extra cupcakes I can have later on. So I'm just going to take that time and really mix that for about five minutes. If you're using a, mix a mixer, it's going to be the same thing. Now I've just switched over to my spatula here because it's a wider base. So the wider your spoon is, it's going to make it a little bit easier for you. But as you can tell, after about four minutes or so, this has come together a smooth, velvety-like paste. So I'm just going to mix that for about another minute or so. Alright, so after about five minutes, that's looking beautiful. It's going to be glossy, it's going to be kind of velvety and really, really smooth, and that's what you're looking for. I'm adding in one tablespoon of vanilla extract as well as one teaspoon of almond extract. The almond extract is actually kind of important in my opinion, but if you don't have it, you can definitely make this without it. But if you do have it, don't leave it out. Take about a good 30 seconds to incorporate that together. And now I'm going to zest in about a half of a large orange. If you have a smaller orange, just go ahead and zest in one whole orange, but because this is a larger orange, I'm just going to be zesting in half of it. And the orange zest really does add amazing flavor. Cupcakes would not be the same without that orange zest. So I'm just going to take another 30 seconds and incorporate that. Now I have four large eggs here that we're going to go ahead and separate. I'm going to put my eggs in a bowl and just get that yolk and place it into our batter. I'm going to continue that with all four of my eggs. Now the egg whites, if you don't want to waste it, just go ahead and make a scrambled egg whites and little ones love that as a snack with a little bit of salt, a little tiny pinch of pepper. It's yummy. So now that we have all four of our egg yolks in our batter, we're just going to take about a minute to two minutes and take our spatula, spoon, or mixer and really incorporate those yolks into the batter.
You really want to take the time to mix the egg yolks in there, so just take about a minute. It's going to start to thicken up our batter. And it's going to be a beautiful yellow color. All right, so that looks beautiful. Make sure that you are scraping down the bottom of the bowl throughout mixing it, especially if you're using a mixer. So now we're gonna be adding in our dry ingredients and I'm gonna be using one cup of cake flour. Now, if you don't have cake flour, just go ahead and use regular all-purpose flour. However, cake flour is going to really give you a much lighter cake. It does come in a box and you could find it in the same aisle where you find your regular, normal, all-purpose flour. And to that, we're gonna go ahead and add in one teaspoon of baking powder. We're just gonna sift those dry ingredients together. I didn't add any salt to this recipe. You can add a pinch if you'd like, however, I just don't think it needs any salt. And to that, I'm gonna add in a half a cup of whole milk. Slowly incorporate that and I'm just going to take maybe about 30 to 45 seconds just to incorporate our flour. You don't want to over mix your flour, it's just going to give you a very tough cupcake. So just until it's incorporated. Once all of that flour is incorporated, I'm going to take about 30 seconds to just mix it in without over mixing our flour. So I'm going to start folding in my flour there and only take about 30 seconds. Now my oven is already preheated to 350 degrees and I have a um, cupcake tray here that I have lined with cupcake liners. If you don't have liners, just go ahead and use nonstick cooking spray. I'm gonna use an ice cream scoop and use one dollop into each cupcake liner. And these make absolutely amazingly delicious yellow cupcakes. I'm not even kidding you, it is so good. And I may actually like plain yellow cupcakes a little more than what I'm gonna show you here, but both of them are absolutely delicious. What I'm gonna be sharing with you is how to make, um, turn this into some raspberry yellow cupcakes. So what I have here is some frozen raspberries. You can find it in the frozen section where your frozen fruit is. And it's, I love using this because they have big chunks and little chunks and crumbles all throughout. So this is nice and frozen. Just took it out the freezer. You don't want to defrost it. You want it nice and frozen. If you're using fresh raspberries, you definitely can. I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of cornstarch to our frozen berries. Um, a lot of people like to use all-purpose flour for this part. I prefer using the cornstarch because it just gives it a lot lighter consistency instead of being too heavy on the cupcake. So I'm just going to mix that together until all of the raspberries are coated with the cornstarch. All right, so everything is coated beautifully. You can see that there's large chunks of raspberries, which is gonna give you this amazingly tart bite. But there's also little crumbles that's gonna be running through the cupcake. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful. Perfect presentation if you're having a get together or anything, and they're so easy to make. I'm just gonna add this to our batter, and all I'm going to do is just gently mix it in for just like five seconds or so, just until it's incorporated in the batter. You're not trying to lose that cornstarch because if you incorporate it too much, the cornstarch is just gonna get dissolved. So just until it's incorporated, and that's it. You still wanna have it coated in the cornstarch so it runs throughout your cupcake. My oven is already preheated. I'm just gonna go ahead and take one ice cream scoop and place it in our liners here. You can also use a quarter cup measurement, which is roughly about the same amount. And make sure and scrape your bowl because there's always some left at the bottom and you can use that. 
because that's a good cupcake right there, or at least a half of a cupcake. And at least I can enjoy it, I know that much. So just fill in any little bits that can be filled. I'm taking a spoon just to kind of even off the top and give it kind of a little swirl. It's not going to make that much of a difference. But after I've done that, I'm just going to give it a couple taps just so everything stays even. And place this in your oven for 25 minutes. These are going to bake for 25 minutes at 350 and they are amazing. These are the best cupcakes. Seriously, they're the best cupcakes. I'm a chocolate person, but these are, these are the best cupcakes. You want to wait for them to cool completely. You can do the toothpick test after 25 minutes. They should be completely done. If your toothpick comes out nice and clean, you know you're good. And that's it. As you can see, there's speckles of red running throughout this cupcake. It is beautiful and it's gorgeous. And honestly, even if you don't have the raspberries, you're going to have the most delicious cupcake regardless because it's going to be so good without any fruit. Of course, the fruit just gives it a pop of color and a pop of flavor but you can definitely make these without it. I hope that you guys enjoy this recipe. Thank you guys so much for watching. These are soft, fluffy, and flavorful. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.